Hello everyone, we are here at the Breakthrough Centre, which is a holistic healing centre in Brampton, Ontario. And we're here with Michelle Koz... Kashuka. Okay, awesome. So, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Okay. Um, basically what I do is I work with clients or I kind of guide clients forward on their spiritual path. So usually the angels bring people to me who are maybe at a standstill or need a little nudge in the right direction. Awesome. So your official title is an angel therapy practitioner. Right. So how did you sort of get into this line of work? Um, about, oh my gosh, I guess about 12 years ago or more I had a car accident mm -hmm. and I was in a totally different line of work, mm -hmm. very hectic and kind of had uh, pushed my spirituality to the side, mm -hmm. was be, you know, when we're in that hubbub of, of work and, and kind of got lost a little bit mm -hmm. and so the angels and the universe kind of put me to an abrupt stop. Wow. And um, I did see an angel at the accident really? site, so that's wow. the first time that I kind of went, oh, okay, something's happening. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. So, w what was the angel doing, or what did they Telling me that it was time to stop. Really? Okay. And to, to um, start doing the things that I really wanted to do instead of wow. what I should do. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you mind asking if... Uh, your previous line of work, or I uh, no, that's okay. Um, I was in sales, which sales, I absolutely okay. hated. Yeah, it was not my personality yeah. at all. Yeah, and at that time, I had two little children who I mm -hmm. desperately wanted to be at home with. Wow. But I was, you know, caught up in this materialistic world where two people had to work, and mm -hmm. so basically, they were telling me, stay at home with your children and connect with your spirituality. Wow. And so that's what I did. That's amazing. That's so yeah. incredible. Wow, so how did people, like I'm sure you had to tell someone about your stories and stuff of, of what happened to you, how did people first react and who did you tell, what sort of reaction did you get? I was pretty careful who I talked to mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. um, I kind of pick and chose who I spoke to mm -hmm. about it because whenever I would talk about it, some people kind of looked at me like, yeah. are you kidding, maybe sure. you hit your head yeah. <laughs> too hard at the yeah. accident. Um, but most people were very um, receptive. There's still some that aren't, and mm -hmm. that's fine. But mm -hmm. my family itself is very receptive. That's and, great. And uh, the breakthrough center here has been wonderful. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, uh, did you ever picture yourself kind of doing this? No. In fact, when I first had my first. Um, kind of experience with the angel cards, mm -hmm. I would always get the light worker card and I'd yeah. say, oh, that's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Put it huh. back in the, in the deck. Wow. But yeah, um, I would never have thought mm -hmm. that I would be here. Wow. So did you get angel readings or anything like that before? After the accident, I couldn't exercise for a while, which okay. was really tough for me because yeah. I was always a gung-ho kind of person because mm -hmm. I was hurt and I, I kind of had to relax. Mm -hmm. So I started doing yoga, okay. of course meditating, mm -hmm. and my yoga instructor had a box of angel cards. Wow. So I would, um, I started just doing them kind of for fun at mm -hmm. the end of yoga, mm -hmm. and then uh, people, I bought one deck for myself, mm -hmm. and then everyone started asking me to do mm -hmm. it. I was like, Are you sure. Wow. <laughs> and so I just, and then I just started growing from there, wow. and it was like the angels. It was obvious that they were saying, "Keep doing this." Wow. And so more and more people started asking. That's. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, you've been doing this for 12 years for now, you said, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what have you learned from the experiences interacting with people, mm -hmm. interacting with angels? Um, just what have you learned overall from this? Um, really, the, the biggest thing that I've learned is that you have to have faith. Mm -hmm. And there's a wonderful world out there for mm -hmm. us if we just open up and mm -hmm. let go and, mm -hmm. and let the angels guide us, mm -hmm. let, 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 let your heart guide mm -hmm. you, do what your heart tells yeah. you to do. Um, yeah, I, I think people are definitely opening up more. For sure. The angels are definitely closer to the earth than they've ever been. Mm -hmm. And people are sensing and feeling it. That's awesome. Yeah. 
I, uh, I, I know I talk to a lot of people that are sort of like really, uh, they say, oh, things like faith and stuff like that is like ridiculous nonsense, like science, 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 mm -hmm. and like it's, it's, I, I get what you're saying in terms of, um, like when you think like that, like I have to fix the problem to the solution, you're almost, it's sort of, even though you're thinking of it, it's almost maybe like you can't think of it clearly. And when you do clear your mind and just say, you, I trust the universe, I will get sorted out. It's almost like when that happens, your mind is cleared and you can actually think better. And then things, faith or not faith, forget the title, it's like things will come into play better and will fall into the right place. So. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. So, where do you see this sort of what direction do you see going into? Do you think um, more things will come out of this in terms of like uh, sort of different connections or like how do you see this progressing into the future? Um, I'm definitely getting more involved in teaching, mm -hmm. which I realize I really love. Mm -hmm. I love teaching people about this, sharing my experiences mm -hmm. because there really are so many things that have happened that you physically can't explain. Mm -hmm. so that's where for it comes sure. to the science faith thing, yeah. there's some things that have happened that there is some physical explanation mm -hmm. for. Um, so definitely the teaching is mm -hmm. where I'm, I'm going with it, but awesome. I, I want to keep this connection with the readings too because it allows me one-on-one -on -one to connect with them, mm -hmm. to connect with their angels, and to mm -hmm. bring them those messages that they're going to need to hear. So I'll continue to do that. So awesome. That's great. So like, do you... In terms of teaching, like, are you sort of like, do you want to get based or start developing things like workshops or something yeah, like that? Yeah, that's what I do now. That's what you do now? Yeah, okay. and that, that's definitely where my passion lies right wow. now. Angel awesome. workshops, healing your vibration, um, angel, the signs that comes for, that come from angels on mm -hmm. all kinds of meditation, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah, so workshops for sure. Awesome. So, for a lot of people who think, like, there's a lot of people who sort of aren't aware of just certain phrases like raising your vibration right. and stuff like that. What actually does that mean to us, raising your vibration, and what does that symbolize? When um, I think what about is it? raising your vibration, I think it means bringing yourself to your true self. Mm -hmm. So really um, going into your heart to mm -hmm. see what things make mm -hmm. you happy, mm -hmm. doing more things for yourself mm -hmm. that make you happy being um, maybe a little bit more, uh, taking better care of mm -hmm. yourself, eat, eating better foods, and like you say, sometimes we, we want to be in control of things so mm -hmm. much that we're trying to control the outcome yeah. of everything. Once you kind of let go and just say, okay, I trust that mm -hmm. you're going to put me in the right direction, and mm -hmm. when you raise your vibration, like I said, eating better foods, um, mm -hmm. taking time to meditate, mm -hmm. calming your mind, yeah. being around other positive people, yeah. then all of a sudden that stuff starts to flow even more. For sure. Awesome. There's um, an institute called HeartMath. They're actually called the HeartMath Institute. And um, basically they talk about, they've sort of figured out the science of when you, basically when you're in love and you feel in love, it, um, you, your sort of heart produces a vibrational beat that goes, it has a higher frequency range. So in terms of like, that's exactly what they say it is when you're in love you have a higher vibration you have yes. more energy and stuff and then when you're sort of in fear or sad you have a low density exactly. vibration which means the the height between the peak of the wavelength and the valley of the wavelength is very shallow and it's um yeah so mm -hmm. yeah I guess uh it's really interesting stuff if people aren't aware of this stuff once you start learning about mm -hmm. it it really opens your eyes up to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, I know when you talk about um, eating different food and stuff, there's no doubt that um, different food creates different vibrations or energy patterns in your body. Like, uh, I remember I used to talk to one of my friends who eats a lot of fruit and vegetables and stuff, and he would say, oh man, I haven't ate um, like a lot of fruit today. I feel really down or bad or something. Right. And like, man, that that has to be bull. There's no way, like, the difference between eating a sandwich or eating a living fruit can, your, your body can't detect that. It's just all molecules, right? Mm -hmm. And then when I sort of started doing it for myself, like, I realized, like, you feel totally, like, night and day. There's mm -hmm. not even a comparison. 
of how much better you feel. So, mm -hmm. so where can we find you or contact you? Where can we find your workshops? How can we okay. get a hold of you to okay. get a reading and get with them? Um, so I work here at the Breakthrough Center. Okay. I also have um, a website, which is www.angelfeathers.ca. Yep. Awesome. So how did how did you sort of come up with that in Angel Feathers? I, I prayed about it in yeah. meditation and mm -hmm. um, one day Archangel Michael said to me, Michelle, of course it's Angel Feathers because that was one of the signs I would find feathers everywhere. Really? Wow. So it was like, of course it's Angel That's Feathers. Awesome. Makes sense. Yeah. I love feathers, everyone. I don't think if there's anyone in the world who has something against feathers. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah that's an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll be back if we have more questions. And um, we'll put up all your contact info on this video, and you guys can reach her. And uh, we'll hope to hear from you soon and see what has been going on and where the future lies and all that good stuff. So. Okay. Thank you for coming to the interview and um, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.